Emmanuel, Matthew 1, 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ, to me, empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Praise the Lord. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. Yes, we have been listening to wonderful testimonies. And uh, we have more testimonies coming your way. And uh, in the meantime, we want to let you know that the morning water administration, a lot of people were delivered. And time will not permit us to listen to all their testimonies. And we all know the significance of deliverance in the life of a person. Jesus Christ has come into the world to put an end to our past and give birth to our future. He has come into the world to destroy the works of Satan in our lives. And that is the meaning of deliverance. So right now we are going to watch on our screen one of those deliverances that took place during the service last Sunday when the man of God, Senor Pavetip Joshua, sent evangelists to minister the morning water. And after which the testifier will come forward. Let us watch the screen. Televidentes, por favor, observen su pantalla. As evangelists move through the synagogue church of all nations, ministering the morning water in the name of Jesus Christ, demons are exposed in the lives of people and begin to manifest. Where the light of God is, no darkness can prevail. Across the auditorium, evil spirits continue to be exposed and disgraced as the demons causing sickness, disappointment, failure, and frustration in the lives of people are forced to bow down to the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing is clear. Demons know that they must submit to the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch how the demon in the life of this woman is exposed, disgraced, and brought to its knees through the ministration of the morning water in Jesus' name. Who are you in this body? Fire in the name of Jesus! Who are you in this body? What have you done to this woman? You know you don't have respect. Speak out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to this woman's life? Just look at what you're doing to me. You're embarrassing me. Hmm? You're embarrassing me. How many of you are in this body? 120. 120? Yeah. What have you done to her? Everything. Mention those things. What are those things you have done to her? Oh, then leave me. Let me demonstrate. Okay. Demonstrate. Estamos viendo la manifestación de los espíritus malignos que han atado a esta mujer. Está demostrando cómo la hacen actuar para tener poderes demoníacos. Pero está siendo libre en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo a través del medio del agua de la mañana. What are you demonstrating? What kind of demonstration is this? Okay, what kind of demonstration was that? P Y M A R I D. Okay, what does that what does that spell? What does that spell? Speak out. Embarrassing me. Okay, who's number one in this body? Giant man. Giant man. I who's number two? Somebody. Who's number two? I'll speak for myself and let others speak themselves. <sighs> okay, what are the things you have pushed this woman to do? Can you leave me? Let me demonstrate. What do you want to demonstrate? Mm. Mm. What do you want to demonstrate? How I walk. As, as who? 
giant man. Okay, demonstrate. Move like a giant man. Es un espíritu de hombre gigante que ha atormentado la vida de esta mujer manifestándose al no soportar la luz de Jesucristo a través del agua. What happens when you walk like this? Accident, destruction on the road. So you cause accidents. Yeah, of course. Big one. Fatal. Yeah. Fatal accidents. Tells me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. What have you done to her family? Speak out. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home about. Yeah. Look to your left. Who are they to you? They are my opponents. They are your opponents. Yeah. How are you? So who is she to you? She's my daughter. So she says that you are her opponents. She's my daughter. So can you explain to us what is the uh, character, the behavior that you have uh, noticed in her life? Her character really is nothing to write him about. She's very stubborn. Two weeks ago, she was angry. She took knives, destroyed all, whatever we have in house. We, we, she even chased her, us out of the house. She can fight, stubborn, very, very insultive as you are seeing her. She tells lies. How are you? I'm fine. Who is she to you? She's my younger sister. So what can you say about her, her character because of this? Her evil character story? is very bad. Uh, she, she, when she gets aggressive, she uses um, weapons to scare everybody away. Mm. Like, like, like what my mommy said, last three weeks she got angry. Yeah. So she, used, she bought all the knife in the house, the kitchen knife and everything. She pushed everybody away. And again, she lies. She, she's very stubborn. When you ask her to do something, she, she, she doesn't do it. Okay. Okay. Who is the cause? Who makes her to carry weapons? Would you have been the cause? Oh, I am the cause. You are the cause. Yeah. Okay. How did you enter this body? Oh. Oh. How did you enter this body? When she was walking on the street. When she was walking on the street. Yeah. So what happened when she was walking on the street? She was walking on the street, and I was chased out of somebody's body. Then I was walking on the street hopelessly, but I saw her, how people were looking at her, and I saw the other demons in her. I had to enter her to walk with my thing. Okay, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are leaving this body. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Out, 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 in Jesus' name. You're back on the floor. 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 What did you say? The giant man has what? Has left. So who are you now? The snake. All of you will vacate this body. Out! 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 Be loosed in Jesus' name. Wherever your powers are located, be loosed in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. You are going. Go! Go! Go out! Go out! Go out! Go out! Speak out. Who are you now? The ancestral spirit. Where's the snake? The snake has gone. Face me. Fire! Out! 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 Come back here! In the name of Jesus Christ. Come back here! Come back here! Bow in Jesus Christ's name! Bow 
in Jesus Christ's name. Bow in Jesus Christ's name. Bow in Jesus Christ's name. Bow in Jesus Christ's name. Bow in Jesus Christ's name. Bow in Jesus Christ's name. Bow in Jesus Christ's name. You're back on the floor. 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 Speak out. Who are you? Queen of ghosts. Queen of who? Ghosts. Where's the ancestral spirit? What is the left. Yes. I can't go. Out! 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 Every demonic spirit in your body, you are leaving this body now. You're back on the floor. 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 On your knees. On your knees in Jesus' name. On your knees in Jesus' name. On your knees in Jesus' name. On your knees. 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 On your knees in Jesus' name. Come back here in the name of Jesus Christ. Come back here. Estamos viendo la liberación. Come back here, you demon. De un espíritu de reina de la costa. One, two, three. Come back here. Out! Out! Go out! Go out! In the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come back here. Jesus in the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. Out in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're talking to Mashima. Bow in the name of Jesus. You Mashima. Out in Jesus' name. 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 Do you know? I've caused so many destruction. Out in Jesus' name. You are leaving this body. Out in the name of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. I should spray under the foot. El poder de Jesucristo se está manifestando en la vida de esta mujer. La Fire on your feet. Fire on your feet. Fire on your feet. Fire on your feet. La luz está prevaleciendo sobre los pies. Fire on your feet. Wherever the power is located in your feet. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever that power is located in your feet. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Le ministran agua de la mañana. Out in the name of Jesus. Bow out. Be destroyed in Jesus' name. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Esta mujer ha sido libre por el poder de Jesucristo a través del lago de la mañana, después de ministrarla en la planta de sus pies. Todo poder demoníaco fue vencido por Jesucristo. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, who are the people beside you? My mom and my elder brother. Oh, thank, you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? And so she was delivered. That is the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ. He came to seek and save the lost. To put an end to the work of Satan in our lives. And the lady was delivered last service day. And she's here today to testify to that wonderful deliverance that she has received. So we welcome her forward right now. Let us come and share her testimony with members of her family. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Observamos en pantalla esta mujer que fue liberada en el tiempo del agua de la mañana. Nous venons de voir la délivrance de cette jeune fille qui a été délivrée de différents esprits, l'esprit de l'homme géant, l'esprit des esprits ancestraux, 
l'esprit de serpent, la reine de la côte et bien d'autres esprits. Aujourd'hui, nous allons écouter son témoignage. So, sister, we thank God Almighty for your life and we have seen that wonderful deliverance you received last service day and we believe you are here today to testify of this wonderful deliverance you have received. So, can you please introduce yourself and those who are standing with you and then your testimony. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, my name is Ophram Confidence. I'm from Imo State, residing in Enugu. On my right hand side is my elder brother, Obina Ophram, and the other is my mother. I am here today to testify to the goodness of the Lord and what the Lord Almighty has done in my life. It all started when I was born. I had, I had demons in me. I was possessed with evil spirits and I belonged to the Marian world. During the time I was possessed with all those spirits, I had powers in my eyes. I had so many powers even in my finger. My eyes, the one in my eyes was to attract men. Any man I wanted to attract with my eyes, I did it and they followed me. The one on my left hand side was, I used this, that hand to, pronou to pronounce anything bad on someone who has annoyed me or did anything bad to me. If I used the left hand on that person and pronounced any word on that person, it came to pass. After three days, when I pronounced the words, it's either they rushed the person to the hospital or the person involved in an accident. So how, how many powers in all did you possess? 120. Mm. Okay, can you mention some of those um, evil demons that were operating in your life just like we heard in that deliverance? Can you mention some of them? Giant men, snakes, lions, queen of coasts, spirits of death, they were many. There were many, and when those spirits possessed me, I loved seeing dead people. I loved seeing dead people, and I, when people wanted to die, the evil spirits came to me and told me, See, your neighbor is going to die, this person is going to die. And after three days, the person died. Mm. And I would love to see the corpse in order to be satisfied. If I, if I didn't see the corpse of the person, I wouldn't get satisfied. But once I saw the corpse, I was satisfied. So you mean whenever you see a dead body, it makes you happy? Made me happy. Made me very happy. Okay, tell us, since how long did you possess all these demonic powers? 18 years ago. And how old are you now? I'm 18 years. So does that mean you were born with these powers? Yes. Can you tell us how? When I was small, according to my mom, they said I was crying. I cried unnecessarily. And I was very stubborn. I was lying. Even when I was growing up, I was lying. When they dismissed school, I fought with anybody. I fought with male, female. If I didn't fight with anybody before returning back home, I wouldn't be satisfied. But once I fought with people, I was satisfied. And I returned back home with mm. happiness. Mm. And you said you, you had powers in your eyes. Can you tell us how do you use those powers? in your eyes to destroy? The powers in my eyes were to attract men and to attract anybody that I wanted to follow me. Even if it were ladies that I wanted to follow me to be my friends and to introduce them to the Marian words, if I looked at them, they followed me. Mm. And those men that you use these powers in your eyes to attract, what do you do with them after seducing them? They came for relationship, asking for my digits. Then when they came to me, after interacting with them, I would just see them as if they were nothing. And the evil spirit would come to me and ask me, okay, see, what do you want me to do with these people? What do you want me to do to them? I would tell them what to do with them. It's either to cause accident. After the men approached me, they would start experiencing setbacks in anything they did. Mm. Okay, can you tell us about other powers and how you use them? The one on my hand, my finger, I used it and pointed at anybody, anybody that annoyed me. If I pointed at that person and say, see, 
you, you must have accident or you must fall sick, definitely after three days or so, the person would be rushed to the hospital. It's either the person ha was involved in, a, in an accident or the person had a serious attack or the person fell sick. Okay, what other powers and how did you use them? The ones on my legs, I used them I, anywhere people were, if I passed with my steps the way I was walking, they would start looking at me. I caused distraction. I caused distraction. If I passed, there would be distraction there. People would be looking at me, looking at down my legs. Hmm. Okay, and you said you were from the marine world. Can you tell us more about the marine world and what was your personality in that marine world? Okay, in the marine world, I was a queen. I was, I had one seat. And in that seat, whenever I sat down, they decorated me, they decorated me as a queen. And I had children. I had people, those evil spirits around me. They were... I would be commanding them, they were finding me as a queen, treating me like a queen, then I would be commanding them to go, see, you go and cause accidents on this road. You go and cause sickness, cause distraction and everything. So by virtue of your position as a queen in your marine world, you give, people, you give uh, other demons instructions on the evils they should carry out against people. Yes, because the evil spirits told me that I had, I had more powers than them, that I was commanding, I had powers to command them, to command human beings and to command evil spirits. Okay, can you tell us about your, the form in which you appear when you are in that your marine world as a queen? Okay, I appeared, up here was like a human being, then down was fish. Mm. Mm. Okay, can you tell us what other destructions you did in the lives of people? The evil spirits in me, they used me to torment people. They used to be to torment people that when uh, people annoyed me, anything bad, anything bad I had in mind for someone came to pass. Like for in for this time, if someone annoyed me, they would come. The evil spirits would come to me physically and ask me, "Say this person that has annoyed you, what do you want us to do to this person?" I would say, "I don't know," or I would tell them, "Go and cause accident for the person. Let the person fall sick critically. Four days time or three days time, they will come and tell me." Our assignment has been accomplished. Mm. Okay, and uh, how did these uh, demonic powers also uh, torment your family? It tormented my family that every time I was sick, I was very, very sick, critically sick. They took me to many hospitals, but the doctors couldn't find the exact problem. But in me, through me, I knew that the thing, the thing that I was suffering from was evil spirit, but there was no way I could tell them because I felt that I was enjoying it. I was enjoying the way they treated me and they told me that if I confessed to them, I was going to die. And how did these uh, demonic powers also affect the life of your mates at schools and uh, other activities at school? It made me that I, was, I couldn't stay with my peer groups at school. Whenever I stayed with them, maybe we would be discussing or so. The evil spirits would come in me. I'll be so aggressive. I'll tell them, hey, you go, leave me. They'll be surprised and say, ah, COVID, what's wrong with you? We were discussing with you, and now you've suddenly become angry. I told them, go, and they'll go immediately. In the morning, next morning, they'll tell me, ah, COVID, I saw you in my dream. You were pushing me with a machete. Mm. You were pushed. And any teacher who annoyed me at school, any teacher who annoyed me at school, the evil spirits would go to the person's house, they would visit the person and torment the person, warn the person seriously that in the morning when the teacher saw me, they were running for me, they were afraid of me. Even to flog me at school, they couldn't. And because of this, they expelled me at school because I fought a teacher. The teacher flogged me, she beat me unnecessarily, so I became annoyed and fought the teacher. And that made the principal to expel me from the school. So you mean you fought the teacher physically? Physically, I fought with her. Mm. I fought with her, so she reported me to the school authority. They expelled me. Okay, now you also said that the, you possess this uh, spirit of snake and all other spirits, the giant man, how do they appear to you? Do you used to see them physically or how do you used to see all these demons when they appear to you? 
I used to see them physically. When they wanted to appear to me, I'll be so aggressive. Then later on, I'll see a snake, big one, python. After, the, after discussing with the snake, the snake will leave. Giant man will come. After discussing with the giant man, the giant man will leave. Queen of Coast will come. I was seeing evil spirits that when I saw an, I was seeing evil spirits that when I saw an old woman, there was an old man who visited me. She was with pipe, the pipe connected through her mouth. She was using the using the pipe to suck my blood. Whenever I was sick, even when I was healthy, they sucked my blood. I was so tiny. My parents didn't know what the problem was. So the evil woman appeared to me. She was so old and ugly and I wanted to tell my parents what happened. I said, Daddy, see, see, see this woman. I wanted to narrate to them what I was seeing. The spirit, the evil woman made me deaf and dumb. Instantly, I couldn't talk. Hmm. But not until my dad switched on our television and tuned the manual TV. Then the man of God was praying. They prayed together with the man of God. I was revived back again. Hmm. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? So can you tell us more about the activities of this evil spirit as you go about your daily life in the public place and at home? How, how did this evil spirit also destroy the life of people around you? It destroyed their, my family's life that when I was annoyed, whenever I was aggressive, I used knife caught last, hammer, scissors, I scared everybody away. It was the evil spirit in me that was manipulating. Whenever I was angry, because little thing now, I would get angry. And whenever I got annoyed, the evil spirit would start manifesting in me. I would use knife to stab anybody who was around. I was ready to stab. Then according to my people, they said, whenever I was angry, I scared everybody away with caught last knife, hammer, scissors, any weapon I saw around me, I chased all of them away. They ran out of the house. I locked the door and was scattering the house, spoiling everything in the house, in the rooms. But my brother, according to my brother, he said he played um, the man of God's prayer on his phone because he had the prayer and he pl pray, um, played it. When he was playing the video pray prayer, he turned back to the kitchen window and the evil spirit in me was hearing it, ran to the kitchen and closed the door, chased him away. Then after run, my brother came inside and when the evil spirit was hearing the man of God's voice, the evil spirit surrendered. Hmm. Shall we clap for Jesus Christ? <laughs> so in all this, have you at any time been taken out? to places in search of deliverance to, I mean, this demonic spirit in your life before coming to the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Yes. We went to so many places. We went to so many churches. And whenever we came back, the evil spirits would appear to me again and tell me, ah, they've taken you to churches and we are back. Let's see how you get delivered. If you confess us, you must die. And I didn't confess them, not until I came to the Synagogue of All Nations. And the uh, morning water was ministered on me. I started confessing them, confessing them. Ever since then, because uh, whenever, when, before then, before I was delivered, when I, when the evil spirits came, whenever I did my face like this, I would be hearing, hearing voices. But after my deliverance, I tried to hear their voices. I wasn't hearing anything. I couldn't hear anything again. Okay, okay. okay. Let us clap for Jesus. We, we are going to ask you more about your experience since after your deliverance. But now, let us talk about your deliverance. We could see a lot of things happen during your deliverance, how the demons were so stubborn and gave the evangelists such a tough time. So, can you remember anything that happened while you were being delivered? I can't. I can't remember anything. Okay, maybe the evangelists who God used to deliver you will be in the best position to also share his experience what happened during that deliverance praise the lord so we all witnessed last week uh, during the live sunday service prophet tb joshua sent the evangelist to minister the uh, morning water uh, to the congregants here at the synagogue church of all nations and uh, i was one of them and i went around ministering the morning water so during this 
a particular deliverance. Prophet TB Joshua was watching the deliverance take place on Emmanuel TV in Tanzania. So when Prophet TB Joshua learned that this deliverance had taken over 30 minutes, uh, he sent instruction uh, through one of the evangelists to me during the deliverance that I should minister the morning water on the foot. And this was a deliverance. <laughs> Hallelujah. So this was a deliverance that was taking over 30 minutes and Prophet TB Joshua watched Emmanuel TV from Tanzania and made a phone call to another evangelist to send the instruction to me that I should minister the morning water on the foot. So as soon as uh, I received the instruction, I started ministering the morning water on the foot. And this was a deliverance that for over 30 minutes I had been been uh, commanding uh, those demons to go out uh, but all to no avail until finally I received the instruction from Prophet TB Joshua in Tanzania through one of the evangelists who received the phone call and just ministering the morning water following the instruction of Prophet TB Joshua to minister the morning water on the foot uh, within 30 seconds all the demons had left her and she was delivered to the glory of God hallelujah so here she is today, she is delivered, and she is sharing her testimony. Praise the Lord. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. You can see clips of the deliverance on the right hand side of the screen. It was such a spectacular deliverance. And we saw how it all happened and uh, the demons were living one after the other. So you mean each time a demon would leave and uh, you would announce that this demon has left and now it's another one that is, 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 uh, is, of, is talking. You mean you didn't remember any of these things? No, didn't. So as you were watching the, the playback some minutes ago and see you saying all these things, how did you feel? I felt bad at the third time. I feel good. I feel good that, I'm, that I've been delivered now because before now, before now, I, the evil spirits were fighting for me anything in anything i did they were fighting for me people who annoyed me even my people my own parents and my siblings people who annoyed me they fought for me uh, at the time i said no this is not a good fight it's better i leave it for god to fight for me not for evil spirits mm. and uh, this demons in you had caused a lot of destruction throughout your life and uh, tell us how come when you came to the synagogue church of all nations these demons with their powers could not withstand the power of god in the morning water what can you say about this morning water that god used to deliver you yes the morning water is great there is god in this morning water if it were this morning water that delivered me it must surely deliver everybody the morning water is so great it's heavenly sent Hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we're coming back to listen to your word of advice. I will take the time out now to listen to your um, members of your family. So can we listen to the other brother? Sir, can you please tell us your name and uh, what you have to say about the deliverance in the life of your younger sister? My name is Obina Oforom. I'm from Imo State, residing in Enugu State. Concerning my younger sister, uh, my life was nothing to write home about. She, she was very bad. Her life was very bad. She was very stubborn, very aggressive. Little thing gets her irritated. And whenever she's aggressive, it's something else. She uses any weapon around to scare everybody she was ready to kill at that moment that was this particular one the last um, incident before we came she got furious and she uh, took the kitchen knives and the scissors in the house scared everybody so i had this um uh snap particular prayer on my phone i played the prayer so i was playing the prayer the evil spirit in her told me that I should go away. 
So I refused. I continued, I continued pr uh, playing the prayer. Not until she came, she locked me outside because of the prayer. So I had to go around the house to the kitchen, wi kitchen window. I was playing the video from there. She came inside, closed the kitchen window, came out from the kitchen, locked the door. So I came around again at the door. When I came, I continued praying, uh, playing the prayer. Then until this time, she, the evil spirit said, okay, I will go, I will leave, I will leave. Then she started dropping the, those weapons one by one, one after the other. Then took the weapons away. After which she fell. Then we, uh, we started praying for her, then she got revived. Then again, um, at that time, she, she, she was very stubborn. When you tell her to do something, she always dialogues before she does anything. Okay, before you continue, we want to ask her. At that point when he was playing the prayer, how, what were you feeling that made you to like, start locking yourself and closing the windows and telling your elder brother to go away? What were you feeling? at that time, when you were hearing the voice of uh, Senior Prophet TV Joshua? I wouldn't say I know what I felt. I know how I felt because it was the evil spirit in me that was manifesting. But all I know is that I felt hot. I felt as if they pushed me inside oven. Mm. I, was, I wasn't comfortable at all. Mm. Okay. So can we hear more from you, sir? So you said she was very stubborn. Yes, very stubborn. Mm -hmm. Very, very stubborn. She, she doesn't listen to anybody, even um, not only to our family, to everybody at large. When they tell her to do something in the house, she, 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 she refused. And even when my mom tried to correct her, she always talk back. She doesn't take corrections. Mm. So even with her small stature in the house, you were not able to contain her? We are not able to contain her, and because of that, when you try to force correction on her, she gets furious, and the evil spirit will start manifesting. So we experienced that many a times. So that now made us to to we 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 don't um, we don't correct her. When we try to correct her, and she refuses, we don't force corrections on her, so as not to um, allow those evil spirits to manifest. Mm. Okay, so tell us, now she's delivered, what can you say about your younger sister before deliverance and now that she's delivered, what are the changes you have seen? Before she was delivered, she, she just like I said earlier, she was always aggressive, she was not happy. Even our way coming to Snagot of Onishans, she was not comfortable while in the bus. She was never comfortable. She was, her face was squeezed. Within me, I knew she was being tormented because she was coming here. I knew she was going to get her deliverance once she steps her foot in this place. Then, now she's delivered. I feel now that, yes, this is really my sister. Her character changed automatically. Both her facial looking too. She, she now looks, yes, she now looks like her age. Because earlier, she was looking... She was, looking, she was not really looking like someone who is really at her age. She was looking older than her age. But now, she looks really, yes, like my sister. I thank God for that. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you are not in any way scared of her now that maybe in the next moment she could pick anything and chase you out of the place? No, no, not at all. I'm not, I'm no longer afraid at all. I can't be afraid because I know she's really delivered. Hallelujah. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. And how, what can you say about this morning water and the medium through which God Almighty delivered your sister? What I can say about the morning water is, the morning water is light. It's light to darkness. Because I know the devil doesn't like um, light. The morning water is light. On that very day on which she was delivered, I was watching on the screen because I was not sitting close to her. Because I was actually, all of us in the house, has, we've been actually been waiting for that particular moment. So when I saw on the screen, while the evil spirit was my, I was very, very happy. And actually, I knew that was what was going to actually, actually happen. Because I know that once the morning water touches her, she will get delivered. Amen. And she's delivered. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. 
Thank you very much. So can we listen to the mother, mom? So please tell us your name and your testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Gloria of Rome. I'm from Imo State, residing in Enugu. Those, these beside me are my children. Close to me is Confidence of Rome. Next is Sobin of Rome. So what can you say about the deliverance of your daughter? And before then, tell us, as a, as a biological mother, what experience did you have about your daughter right from birth until when she grew up? What can you say? Really, when she was small, she was stubborn, very, very stubborn, aggressive. She cries unnecessarily. And when all those things were happening, I thought it was normal. Not until now she's delivered, I came to realize that all those things she was, she were, she was doing was not normal. And she said she used to fall sick all the time. She used to sick. We, you, you, we used to take her to the hospital, various hospitals. And you spent a lot of money? Yes. So then you, did you ever think that something else was responsible for this sickness and it was not a normal situation? We didn't know. We thought it was something that medically would have, that we would have cured her medically. Mm. Okay, now tell us, uh, uh, at home, she said whenever that demon came upon her and she was angry, she would pick any dangerous object and would chase the entire family out of the home. What can you say about that? In a, well, what, all what she said here, definitely 100% correct. Whenever she's aggressive, she will use all the weapons around her, chase everybody away, and uh, try to stab anybody that is come closer to her, she will be able to stab and destroy things in the house. And since after her deliverance last Sunday, what can you say about the attitude, the character, everything about your daughter? Since after her deliverance, I know that all things are passed away. She's now a new creature. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you very much. So lastly, sister, do you have any word of advice for people who are listening to your testimony? Please, before I give my advice, I have other things to say. Before I was delivered, I was smoking. I was smoking cigarettes. I sent one boy that was living with us in the village to go and get me cigarettes. And when he gets the cigarettes, I'll be so satisfied. And I, I was feeling joy in me that I was smoking cigarettes. And when we came back to Enugu, I couldn't go outside and get cigarettes because I was feeling ashamed. So I would wrap pepper and put it on and be smoking. And I was alcoholic. I was alcoholic. I was taking alcohol even before I wrote my exams. When I wanted to enter the exam hall, I would hear the spirit, ah, go and take alcohol. If not taking any alcohol today, go and take alcohol. I would run to a nearby shop. I took hot, hot, and bought three bottles of alcohol and took it. And whenever I take it, I would be satisfied. And since after your deliverance, did you still have any, of the, any urge to do all these things? No, not at all. So you are completely free. I'm completely free and delivered. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God Almighty for the wonderful deliverance you have received. And we want to encourage you to stay in faith in Christ Jesus. When, when Jesus Christ enters our lives, we put an end to our past and give birth to our future. And now that Jesus Christ has put an end to your past, continue to follow him all the rest of your life by making his word a standard for your life and as you do so the deliverance you have received will be permanent in jesus name amen once again let us clap for jesus christ
Nous venons d'entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cette jeune femme qui a été libérée de différents esprits. Elle a dit qu'elle avait de l'esprit des eaux et aussi l'homme géant à l'intérieur d'elle, les esprits ancestraux, le lion, le serpent, la reine de la côte et bien d'autres. Elle a dit qu'elle est, qu est née avec ses démons, que depuis toute petite, elle a ses démons, qu'elle s'amusait justement à frapper euh, ses, ses collègues à l'école, étant toute petite, que lorsqu'elle se battait avec d'autres enfants, c'est comme ça qu'elle était satisfaite. Elle a dit qu'elle elle avait aussi euh, l'esprit des morts, elle aimait voir aussi les, les corps morts, les, les gens morts. Et elle avait aussi de la puissance dans son royaume, dans le, dans le royaume de l'eau, où elle était une reine. Et elle donnait aussi des commandements aux démons d'aller créer des accidents ou donner des maladies à certaines personnes. Elle dit que toute personne qui la rendait, la mettait en colère, les démons apparaissaient euh, physiquement et lui demandaient qu'est-ce qu'il devait faire à cette personne. C'est là qu'elle commandait aux démons de soit lui faire, euh, faire euh, avoir un accident, être très grave ou malade, être transporté à l'hôpital ou quelque chose arrivait à ces personnes. Elle dit qu'elle avait 120 pouvoirs à l'intérieur d'elle. Le, le, ses pouvoirs étaient dans ses yeux. Elle avait la, la, la puissance de pouvoir attirer n'importe quel homme qu'elle à travers de ses yeux. Et après avoir justement rencontré cet homme, cet homme serait stagnant, euh, ne, rien ne marcherait dans sa vie. Et c'est comme ça aussi qu'elle utilise ses yeux pour attirer aussi les, les filles, les femmes, pour les attirer dans son royaume, pour les initier dans son royaume. Elle a aussi le pouvoir dans son doigt. Elle a dit que si elle lève le droit sur quelqu'un, disant que ceci ou cela t'arrivera, ces choses arriveront. C'est comme ça qu'elle a, qu a commencé depuis toute petite à pouvoir détruire la vie d'hommes et de femmes et étant dans le royaume des eaux. Et aujourd'hui, elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu parce qu'après avoir été, a reçu sa délivrance, elle est complètement libre, elle n'a plus de cauchemar, elle n'a plus de mauvais rêves, elle n'a plus de puissance, elle est complètement libérée. Nous avons vu durant sa délivrance aussi que sa délivrance a pris du temps car chaque esprit se manifestait l'un après l'autre. Mais après l'instruction donnée par le prophète Tibi de Chac qui se trouvait en Tanzanie à l'évangéliste justement qui libérait cette jeune fille, disant qu'il fallait appliquer l'eau du matin sur ses pieds, c'est comme cela qu'elle a reçu sa délivrance totale et aujourd'hui sa famille se réjouit parce qu'elle a l'habitude d'avoir un très mauvais caractère, d'être très entêtée, d'être très violente, de prendre même des couteaux et de poursuivre les membres de la famille dans la maison. Aujourd'hui, son frère et sa mère se réjouissent parce qu'elle est maintenant libre, parce qu'elle est maintenant, ils ont retrouvé maintenant euh, leur sœur et aussi leur fille. Aujourd'hui, son caractère maintenant est très calme, qu'elle n'a plus ses mauvais esprits, elle est complètement libre. Creo televidente, acabamos de presenciar esta poderosa liberación durante el servicio de la administración del agua de la mañana a través de los evangelistas aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Vemos que esta jovencita fue liberada poderosamente a través del agua de la mañana por uno de los evangelistas, pero vimos que después de 30 minutos de liberar 120 demonios dentro de ella, fue bajo la instrucción del profeta Tibi Joshua que él estaba observando el servicio, él se encontraba en esos momentos en el país de de Tanzania, en cuanto recibió la instrucción este evangelista que ese demonio necesitaba aplicar, el administrar el agua de la mañana en la parte inferior de la palma del pie, ella fue con finalmente quedó liberada. Espíritus manifestados como espíritus de la reina de la costa, ella nos comenta que ella tenía poderes, tenía hijos, tenía subordinados en los cuales ella les comandaba, ella les comandaba a ellos a destrozar, a causar accidentes, enfermedades y más, y también eh, eh, otros eh, eh, demonios dentro de ella, como eh, espíritus ancestrales, demonios eh, de serpientes dentro de ella, en los cuales vimos en pantalla como uno a uno fueron saliendo a través de la administración del agua de la mañana. Ella también nos platica que tenía poderes en los ojos, en el dedo índice de la mano, para atraer y destrozar a los hombres y a las personas. También en las piernas, al momento de caminar, traía esa atracción y de seducción y de destrucción. También nos comenta que ella cuando tenía este poder en los dedos de la mano, especialmente en el dedo eh, índice, era cuando alertaba a una persona y le, la, le decía que tuviera, eh, que no sé, que al, al retarla a este tipo de persona con la mano, esta persona posteriormente sufría de un accidente u enfermedad o cualquier otra cosa eh, mala en su vida. Hoy vimos en pantalla para la gloria de Dios esta gran liberación y este poderoso testimonio de este milagro nuestro Señor Jesucristo en la vida de esta jovencita que estaba prácticamente poseída por 120 demonios en su vida que traían destrucción, alcoholismo, prostitución, entre otras. Pero hoy para la gloria de Dios su vida está completamente transformada, una nueva vida. Escuchamos este morderoso testimonio aquí en la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones. Manténgase pendiente, continuamos. Thank you very much. Let us clap for Jesus.